Okay, so I'm going to show you the bus. Uh, first, I just want to show you that I have uh, magnetic curtain doors on both the wheelchair accessible doors and it's no longer accessible because the machinery that wheelchairs got in there with was removed. Uh, and the passenger door also has one. So you could get a lot of nice fresh air. Uh, the other thing is you can, um, I have one up there. Uh, um, it is Velcroed at the moment. And uh, it's used so that bugs hopefully can't come in when the emergency exit is, is open in order to let some of the heat get out, you know, extra heat get out and some more breeze come in. Okay, so, and uh, a few of the windows open, not all of them. This one does, it's not currently open, but I do have a net that I keep over that and I attach it to the window with clips. We'll see it from the inside, as well as that back window. Uh, they're both emergency exits, but you know, obviously they can be used <laughs> to let some air in and out. <laughs> so let me go in. Uh, this rug will come with it. This is what we just used to wipe our feet off, especially if we were in a muddy area. And uh, it's just very easily um, easy to shake out uh, by hitting it against the bus bumper. <laughs> A little trash bag and some cleaning wipes and stuff. Just uh, little compartments there to hold different things. <clears throat> right now, I currently have our Easy Pass stuck on there, which will not come with the bus if you buy it. I have to turn it back in. This also has a backup camera, but you have to plug it in every time you use it. But and remember to unplug it afterwards, um, or you'll you know drain your battery and uh, I used to have it suctioned to the window however it just kept falling off um, so what I did for the moment and you can do whatever you feels right is I kind of clipped it to this mirror because this is the mirror I use to look out the back as well um, all right so uh, you will see the bed folded out um, but right now it's uh, folded up into couch mode and those tapestries just cover some of the windows for privacy Just so you know, I only have uh, Reflectix on the walls. Uh, I didn't do any other type of insulation So it Reflectix does not work in that well in cold weather. It helps a little but I, I don't really feel it, it helped enough so that uh, you know, you might want to think about insulating the bus yourself if you need to. So anywhere, unless you're going to be in decent weather. So this is just kind of the different storage setup I have. Uh, I took a bookcase and I made a wall out of it. <laughs> um, so it's attached to the bus. And I also attached for the side wall here uh, an old door that I found. And actually the mirror was attached to the door when I found it and I thought, oh, okay, that'll be great. <laughs> so we do have a, a decent mirror in here. You can do whatever you want with the pictures. I'm probably not going to take them. This is battery operated and it's, it's on there pretty well. You know, you can remove it to change the batteries. It's just on there with a screw. And I have a little sign up there. You can keep the sign. There's another little sign I have attached. You can keep that as well. I'm also going to show you this at night just to uh, show you that I have these plug-in fairy lights and they are attached on this grid up here that I also um, can use, use to hang, you know, you can hang um, those uh, magnetic hooks on and hang things from them if you need to. They've been really helpful. You can also store extra blankets up there, which is kind of helpful because 
when you're driving and this wiggles or you know kind of jumps up and down a little bit with the bumpy roads and stuff it's pretty noisy so um even though it's attached even though i have it attached it still you know wiggles so um having the extra blankets or pillows or whatever you can store up there uh stops that from happening oh yeah i still have one of the magnetic hooks right here they're great i uh, hope you saw that i could i don't know if i i was looking at it and not the camera lens there we go and um so this is just um, I made a little trash container out of it to, to keep on the bookshelf. You can keep that if you want. <laughs> you get some hooks. And these are actually magazine holders. And you can store books or papers or whatever you want in there. Under here is some storage. Uh, you can store things in those milk crates that are use, used as the legs of this bed. Uh, I did that on purpose so you could store things in there and bungee cord them in there for safekeeping. The same with this. I wanted to, you know, have the opening out and you can bungee cord things by holding onto the the um, handles there. You can bungee cord the handles to keep things in. I have a, a Lagoon table. This table actually is not from Lagoon just the uh just the um stand that it stays on you know the thing that moves around and stuff uh, i attached this old table that i had and <laughs> it's kind of thin so some of the screws almost came through but it still worked out well enough as a table and i screwed on this little cup holder if you wanted to <laughs> put something in there okay and this is attached to the trunk. Now the thing about that is sometimes if you're sitting in this, this, these back seats and you wanted to eat and you have the table here, you'd probably want to lower the table. Now you can lower it obviously, but if you ever want to go in this trunk right here, you have to raise it up again because, because uh, this part here will would get in the way and you wouldn't be able to open the trunk all the way. So it kind of has to be raised up enough to open the trunk. And I used to keep tools and stuff in there right now. Um, I don't really have anything in there. So, uh, this is the screen like material that I told you about that I have for this window that opens and I hold on, hold it on with these clips it's not really magnetic the only thing that's magnetic on here are the screws and they're just so small you know you can't guarantee that they're going to stay on uh <laughs> this is contact paper a few times i've had to spray some uh, i forget the name of it but it's a uh, spray on glue uh to reseal it uh you can do what you want with that like i said the reflectus reflectix is underneath this back wall, uh, I couldn't find, I couldn't think of a way to make it relatively easy to cover the reflectix. So <laughs> I had, I used to sell these through my business, all these um, uh, bumper stickers. So I took all the ones that I liked and, uh, and used that as the back wall. So this window opens too. This curtain is um, the screen-like thing that I've used for that. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't get sealed to the window, so I also had to use lots of clips on these again when, when this was opened up. Uh, and what I held open the window with is this, and I would get a shorter one for the one over there. I, I just used like a regular old fallen stick from a tree and uh, I think it's gone now, so <laughs> sorry, I don't have it. So anyway, um, I just opened that, and yeah, it just opens, and of course, we're too close to my garage, so I can't really open it all the way, but it opens pretty well, especially with this long dowel, and I keep this dowel stored in here for, for right now. All right, I'm just going to pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. So this is kind of the sink setup that I had. I also have a pump sink, 
Um, I'm keeping the smaller pump sink. I have two pump sinks actually. I bought one that uh, I ended up not keeping in here. It's but um, it you can keep it if you um, if you want to take that pump sink. Um, it's totally you're totally welcome to have it. I just don't have it with me um, in the bus at the moment. I'll try to take a picture of it and put it in this video. Um, there's just a little storage area under, under here. Um, and I had used this sink just as like a drainage sink, as you can see, this bucket. Uh, you know, um, what I would do is I would have um, uh, one of those um, pest control um, squirters that people use as showers if they just, you know, just use water in it and not... Uh, not bug killing materials <laughs> uh and i would hang i would uh you know w rinse the dishes and and uh, let the let the water go down the drain sorry i'm not great at doing these videos i say um a lot and i am probably not going to edit them out <laughs> uh so i have this uh covered with faux stained glass and that is for privacy and that one as well, because this is the bathroom area. And now I used to have a cassette toilet there and my cassette toilet fits, fit perfectly in these little area. And I had a Dometic, so it, um, I know the Dometic fits in there perfectly, um, but the Dometic is pretty close to the same size as all the other types. So you most likely would be able to fit uh, any other brand in here as well, if that's what you wanted to do. And, uh, and because it's on the tire well, I sort of had to make a floor to be able to stand on because you couldn't really, there was no place to stand as it sort of uh, angled down to the floor uh, diagonally. And uh, so I kind of put this little floor in <laughs> to stand on and, you know, turn around and do your business. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me just show you something else here. This, uh, this is just hanging from here. Um, and I use this as a light, but I'm probably gonna keep this, I'm not sure yet, but I use this as a little light for the nighttime and uh, just hung it from there. But I also have used this for a hand towel. This is an extra storage there. Uh, this is leftover materials from the cassette toilet, you know, for the, um, the blue stuff that goes in the water. And this fits toilet paper and other necessities you might want to put in there. I have a few pictures in here too. You can do with whatever you want. And now I have to kind of go out because I'm too close for you to be able to see the screen right now. So this screen I unhook from there and you can you can either hang it from here for some privacy, so you have privacy in the bathroom, or you can hang it from here. I mean, no, up here. I forget how I did it when I, uh, for some reason it's, it seems longer than it used to. I think, I think this other end came out this way. So I'll probably have to cut that out and do this again. That's better, I had to fix it. So that bungee cord stays there and that reaches across there. But it's probably best not to put it on, on that hook. It's probably best to keep it on that hook. And this just slides over and you get plenty of privacy. And you, you kind of want that privacy because of this back window is not covered. <laughs> and uh, that kind of hides that window while you're in there doing your business. I'm going to pause again. Okay, I'm back. So, alrighty. This kind of kept it closed a little bit. There's a drawer you can use for silverware and whatnot. And I keep this closed by this little hook and bungee cord over here because it, it doesn't stay shut by itself. And so there's more places to store things there. I used to store dishes and 
uh, Reynolds wrap and and uh, cups and stuff like that under there. Alrighty. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. So these are the two legal seats, legal passenger seats. They both have um, uh, seat belts. And again, back to this area with the trunk, which I'll open for you right now. So I'm turning this all the way away. Excuse the bungee cord. And I just take these cushions off. And voila, more storage. I uh, used to just uh, save all these different silicone packs just to keep in there to keep extra moisture out. And uh, they seem to do the, good, to the job very well. So, oh, the other thing is sometimes uh, if I wanted to keep this open, I would hook a bungee cord in there and then hook it up to that little ledge right there on the window. And the bugs are enjoying this weather as well in this third week or almost third week of November. It's a rare, nice warm day, which is why I decided to do this video on the bus today because it's cold out here if I don't. Alrighty, so that's that. I just want to show you too, there's a little crack right here in those, uh, those tiles. And so just so you know, we have extra tiles. There's a whole box of extra tiles here that come with the bus if you needed to replace them. And let's see what else we got up here. The radio does not work. The, also, the clock on the radio also does not work properly. So, here, here is uh, we get, we have two of these, and I usually I usually plug the backup camera in there. And the second I get where I'm going and shut the vehicle off, I immediately unplug it because I have drained the power before. Okay. This is how we shut the passenger door. And oh, I got the wrong keys here. Let me get the right keys because I wanna turn this on for you. I'm gonna put you on pause. Okay, so plugged it in, plugged the key in. Alrighty. starts up really well. Let me just put this here. The other thing I notice is as soon as you start it up, the tow and haul, it's in tow and haul mode. And to shut that off, I had to learn myself because I had no clue, is this little button on the, on the uh, shaft that, uh, you know, changes from drive to reverse, etc, etc. So that shuts that off. To turn it back on, you just do that. And that shuts it off again. All right, so I'm just gonna pull you up here so you can see the mileage. It has 196,828 miles on the motor. I'm gonna shut it off now. And you always have to fix your windows and figure them all out before you get going anywhere. <laughs> Let's see. In here, I have four chocks to keep it uh, from rolling if you're on a hill. And we also have a working fire extinguisher there. And you can have this broom to sweep 
it out and these have in here some big orange things that you stick up if you're on the side of the road in a dangerous situation and you don't want to get hit or anything so that's what the, that's what's in there I have another one of these cup holders if you wanted to have extra things there and it does come with cup holders here I keep hand sanitizer in one and a cup usually in the other this is a magnetic phone holder if you have a magnetic attachment to your phone you can put your phone right here so you have it available moves around uh, you know in case you uh, you know need it for the uh, maps or whatever and let's see and we have of course the working seat belt and I'm gonna put you on pause again all right so I have the hood up and this is a new battery sorry I I'm not good at cleaning all this stuff. I don't uh, go and do that kind of crap, if, uh, <laughs> but it's in decent shape. It's in very good shape. It's a pretty brand new battery. We got it, I think at the beginning of the summer. I can't remember exactly when. It was very, it was, with, it was within the last, it was before a year ago. So we definitely got it less than a year ago. And that's what it looks like. You probably know better what you're looking at than I do. <laughs> that's why I take it to a guy. So that's one battery, and I'm going to take you and show you the other battery, which is also new. All right, so I, I started to open this before. But come on, there we go. So this opens up. And we have extra hose here. I don't know if we're keeping that. I have to ask my husband. He's the one who bought it. <laughs> um, but this thing comes out. I'm going to put you on, on pause again. Sorry, I'm not strong enough to pull it out. However, this is the other brand new battery, and which is also in very good shape. You kind of need both of them to work for everything, you know, for everything to work well. Um, unless you're into electronics and can figure out the wiring, I can't help you there. Okay, that's shut again. And let's see. I don't know what else to tell you. The outside does not look great. That was not my priority. However, um, I did have to fix a few leaks which are completely fixed. Um, one of the leaks was over here. So I fixed it by spraying some of that flex seal along there so it does not look lovely but it worked <laughs> and I'm gonna go around here if you are into a paint job or into somebody who can help you with the stickers or whatever they are not in great shape either but they do the trick this is the side that got really messy that I had when I had to fix a leak on this side it kind of went up there is my finger there we go <laughs> went up um, to above there I had to um, really do a lot of work up there to make sure it stayed I put lots of stuff in there it is totally sealed trust me and um, but unfortunately like you said like I said it doesn't look that great uh, but the bus is in really decent condition other than that there is you put the gas in and it's hard to see the back yeah you saw my uh, license thing here okay uh, let's see that's it so I'm not sure how well you can see this but I'm folding the bed back up so it has a piano uh, piano hinge attached so it just folds back like that. Um, it had been resting on, on these two things because they're the same height. And I store these under the bed. And this. Okay, so actually I store this behind. Sort of under and behind the... Uh, 
driver's seat. This goes under there. And then the mattress pad goes back on. And then I just throw the um, the throw pillows back on as it's in couch mode. All right, so somebody wanted to see the top of the bus when I had posted it previously and I hadn't had a picture of the roof. And the roof is kind of dirty right now, but it's in really good shape other than the fact that it's dirty. So this is what the roof looks like. There's tons of space if you want to put some solar panels up here. Alrighty. Okay, so it's getting dark out and I wanted to save this time to show you the lights that I had, the fairy lights that I have set up here in the bus. So, uh, I plugged them into my Jackery. The Jackery is not part of the bus sale, but uh, anyway, I plugged them in there. They do have the regular AC plug. All right. So there are different settings, and when you first turn them on, they go through all the different settings. Once they stop, I can't remember if they go through them continuously or just finally stop at the last one. But the last one is just solid light anyway. I think there are eight settings. Let me see. I'm just going through them fast right now. Okay, so they're off. One, two, three, four. Five. Ooh, that's awful. <laughs> six. Right there, that's six. Seven. And eight. So eight leaves them on completely. I'm just going to go outside the bus so you can see how they look outside. When you're camping, it's really pretty to have them on on the inside at night. <laughs> so... That's how they look. Okay. Or you could do any of the other settings if you wanted to. So, let me come on back on here. What I did was uh, I pulled the wires through the grate up there on the ceiling to help them hang. And you can let them hang too. I just kind of, you know, doubled them back up, but you can let them hang, the strings hang down. But, you know, if you want to sit back, you would be bumping into strings. So it's totally up to you if you want to hang them down and do something different with the bed slash couch. But that's the way they're set up now. Okay. So I have some, a few pieces hanging there. And down the other side of the door. It goes down kind of far. Um, so obviously you could hang this from something. Uh, and I have them wired up around this pole. And it goes also uh, back. I have one hanging here. It goes down behind the seat a little bit. So it kind of lights it up pretty well for most of the bus. This corner is not lit up obviously, but you know, you could have other lights in here, which I don't currently have. I'm keeping all my other portable solar lights and battery lights. So there you go. Again, the Jackery is not part of the bus sale. Thank you.